Warning. Please do not try anything you see in this video at home. I am a trained professional in a safe and controlled environment. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And today we're going to be unboxing the Glock 42 Airsoft Gun. So the whole month of October, I got a lot planned for y'all. This is officially the first episode of Glock Tober. Shout out to my boy GSG Hustle. This month, I got a lot in store. I want to get back to grinding for y'all. Unboxing a lot of new Glocks. So it's going to be a couple airsoft. Hopefully, we can snag a couple firearms in there, the real jumps. But in Virginia, it's a law where you can only purchase one handgun every 30 days. So we got to figure out how we're going to do that legally because we legally dangerous, bitch. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Turn on notifications. Got a lot of heat dropping this month. I'm back to grinding. A lot of people been asking me, yo, Igua, where you been at? Why you not posting no videos? It's because I've been grinding my other channels. I got Igua, I got Eastside Giving Shorts channel, and I'm even back on TikTok. You feel me? They done banned me three, four, five, six, seven times, but now I'm back on TikTok. So we're on the road to 100K. Make sure y'all tap in all social media because YouTube be taking my videos down. I be trying to grow on other platforms. Let them boys know. I'm not just a YouTuber, you feel me? I can take my talents to South Beach. I'll go to TikTok, take my ad to Rumble, whatever the fuck they talking about. Yeah. But let's get into this unboxing, man. So today, the first unboxing of Glocktober, we're going to be unboxing the Glock 42 Airsoft Gun. You feel me? I'm trying not to just do Airsoft, so we probably do like um, a new unboxing every week. So this week, we got the Glock 42. Next week, I want to get a real Glock. Then the week after that, we might get a gel blaster. I don't know. And then a... We're going to see what happens, man. So just stay tuned. Glocktober. And I'm also going to be doing challenges in between. So it's not just unboxings. It's going to be real lit content. Y'all don't want to miss it. So let's get into this unboxing, man. Eguap, stop talking. Get into the unboxing. So here it go right here. Let me tell y'all something. I ordered this off Amazon. They delivered it to the wrong address. And the lady opened the package. She had the nerve to open it. So she already opened it and seen it. And I'm like, why you open my package? Because they got my name on it. But you feel me? I probably would have opened it too. Because if they would have delivered it, it's against the law. I wouldn't have done that. But yeah. Glock 42 unboxing. Airsoft. This is a 6mm BB. Um, It take green gas. I don't really do the CO2. But y'all do what you want. CO2 is better. Say what you want in the comments. I like green gas. But here it go, man. Glock 42. Look how small that thing is. That's what she said. Alright, so boom. Fresh out the package. Look at this thing got taken in for evidence. Damn, that thing is small. That thing is baby. This is like a water gun. Like, look how small it is. That single stack frame. That thing is like the size of my pinky. I'm trying not to flag myself, even though this is an airsoft gun. Y'all should always practice safety with y'all firearms firearm safety let me go ahead and just say this warning all stunts performed in this video were controlled in a safe control damn it please do not try anything you see in this video at home all right so let's get some light on that thing that thing a little lubed up glock 42 see a little up close shot of it let me wipe that off here hold on Feel me? Come on, boy. All right, so here I go. Glock 42. Airsoft. That thing looking real clean. Um, the slide already like. That spring is real weak. I don't know. I might just got to break it in a little bit. It sound nice. Go ahead and look at the chamber. Hold on. Focus up, boy. It do lock back. I love the green gas. I think the CO2 might lock back too, but I know the green gas are lock to lock back. And that just make it look so much better. Make it um, function better so you can practice. Yo, this magazine not drop free? All right, so here go the magazine. As y'all can tell, load the BBs in the front. Um, green gas loads in through the back. It got the gas release valve at the top and the entry valve right here. I like that because um, Y'all know a lot of the other uh, Glock Airsoft magazines, you got to take off the bottom and load up the green gas at the bottom. But right here, it's just two holes, the front and the back, though. You feel me? You just load it up, then you could hit the back, release it. 
That's what I like. I like them two holes. Hey, yo. Pause. So anyways, let's see if that magazine drop free. That magazine really not drop free? I guess it's not. Oh, it is drop free. It just take a little, take a little pressure. You just, okay, okay, okay. All right. So the magazine is drop free, but I can't get over how small this thing is like. Ah, yeah. This thing is small as fuck, boy. That orange tip not even really orange neither. That don't look like, it's like chrome almost. That's probably why the lady was so scared when she got this delivered to her front door because these airsoft guns, although they are airsoft, they do look mad real. Like, even with the little orange tip on there, she probably thought that was a silencer or something. A little muzzle. That thing do look clean. Hold on. Might have to pump fake with this junk. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> nah, but for real though, Let's compare this to my Glock 43X. Y'all know I got the 43X as my EDC. But this make the 43X look like a regular Glock, like a full frame. Hold on. Clear. We are clear. We are clear. We are clear. So this make the um, 43X look big almost. Hold on. So this is the 43X. I do have a whole grip on there, so it's a little bit thicker. But even without it. That 42 look even smaller. The slide's like the same size almost. About the 42 just a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. Uh, actually, they look they about the same length. Um, But nah, like... If I took this whole grip off that 43X, they would almost be the exact same. They would almost be. You could, you could tell from this angle that 43X... It's just slightly larger. Nothing too serious. But nah. This thing is so slim. Like you could put this in your sock. This the this the sock glock. But I mean, I put this joint right here. Boom. Y'all not gonna see that. I'm in the club. What? I'm in the club like. I'm like, what? Nah, but for real though, pocket rocket boy. This 42. So only thing left to do, load it up, see how it shoot. About to take it to the stool. Y'all know I be rapping. I ain't really be chubbing. I never be Kevin. Um, initial thoughts. Let's see how that trigger feel. Hold on. See that trigger reset. This trigger is dog. Shit. So basically, um, you need to get an aftermarket trigger. This Glock standard Glock trigger is garbage. I'm not gonna say Glock triggers are garbage because I still got the standard Glock trigger on the stock Glock trigger on my 43X. I don't replace none of the triggers on my Glocks. Even my 19X, I still got this on um, stock trigger. Let me go ahead and clear it in for y'all too. Y'all know I got that bit. Boy, boy. Hold on. All right, you see, I got the um, got the standard trigger on there. And you feel me? I like it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I know a lot of people will upgrade their triggers. I might start doing that, but I really just started getting into firearms for real, for real. Cause I just started doing the airsoft like two years ago. Then I caught my 43X. I caught my 19X first, right? This was my first Glock. And then I caught the 43X. And I will be unboxing a new Glock hopefully next week or the week after. I told y'all this is Glocktober. So we're going to be running it up. I got a very special Cerakote for that Glock coming soon, so... I don't want to miss it, but um, back to the 42. Yeah, the triggers dookie on this. I don't feel like all my airsoft triggers have been this bad. Let me check real quick. Hold on. Now. All right, so here go a couple of my airsoft Glocks. Let's check these triggers. This is the gold Glock 17. I'm gonna just do one hand so I can see it. See. This has a nice trigger reset, even though it's airsoft, you could get a lot of good dry fire practice with it. But the Glock 42, I don't know. This might just got um like bumped around and packaged, thrown around or something. Or it might just be loose. It feels real garbage. The wall feels so far back. Like I'm basically shooting right now. You feel me? That's my trigger finger. I'm gonna see if y'all can hear that click. Yeah. There's like no reset, so 
I wouldn't recommend getting this Glock 42 if you're trying to um, simulate real practice. I guess this is just more for like the real airsofters. I don't know what this is for, for real, for real. If you really want to get some good practice with an airsoft Glock, I will recommend the Glock 19X Airsoft. It's my favorite one that I got. Everybody always asks me, what's your favorite Glock Airsoft you got? Probably the 19X. Here go the 17 as well, the black jump. Got a 30 in there. Look at all them BBs. I haven't been shot with a BB gun in a minute. I've been, I've been chilling because I used to do BB gun challenges every day for y'all. Y'all know this. I used to be getting shot every single day. Back to back uploads. Guess the rapper challenge. This challenge. This challenge. Then my, then my brother was like, yo, I'm not doing no challenge with you no more. Then I tried to start getting my sister in them. But I didn't really want to shoot her too much. Yes, I did, but not too much. Then she started shooting me a lot. We might got to get back this month. I'm not going to lie. If y'all want to see some Glock challenges, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to them, but let's see this trigger too. Let's see, even this trigger is better. So I know I wasn't tripping. These airsoft guns... They got nice practice tools, like from the trigger resets, the slide, the locking back feature, the magazine. Everything about it is very realistic. The only thing different is the weight. That's the only thing. Feel me? So if you want to get some good firearm practice, um, if you're scared to um, carry your firearm, you don't have that confidence yet, and you want to practice, I would suggest just getting you a little airsoft gun off Amazon. I'll be linking them in the description. Um, yeah, just practice this. Practice your carry your quick draw all that carrying one in the head a lot of people not trying to carry one in the head carry one in the head load up that bb see if you shoot yourself with the bb because if you carry one in the head with your real firearm you might shoot your thing off but if you carry it with the bb gun it's just gonna hit you and it's gonna sting a little bit it's a lot safer so yeah practice with that how y'all like this though this that swag gold glock 17 with the 10 30 round feel me this that pressure boy this that home run Oh yeah, what are you talking about, boy? Bow. Bow. What are you talking about? Yo, give me a name in the comments. What should we name him? He gonna be here for the month of October. What is his name? Casper the Ghost? Guap, Guap Ghost? That's kind of hard. Guap, Sir Guap the Ghost. What up, Guap? Guap Junior? I don't know, man. Got him at Walmart. Good price, $20. He's four foot tall, and he, he blows up. You just gotta plug him into the wall. But, um, yeah, so that was my little trigger comparison. Now, if y'all want to look at it some more, just stare at it. Glock 42. That orange tip really throwing me off. Like, this is not no plastic orange tip. This joint, I think you could screw this one in. Screw it out. What does it smell like? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Y'all tell me what that is. But, uh... You can see the serrations in the back, serial number, all that, takedown pins. I'm pretty sure these takedown pins work too. Yeah, takedown pins are functioning. Some of these slides don't be wanting to come off. I'm gonna try to disassemble it right now. Nah. So. Is that enough talking? Not enough shooting. So let's go ahead and load this thing up and shoot it. Obviously, since it's a single stack magazine, none of these mags that I have for my other Glocks are going to fit. Nothing's gonna be compatible. Here go the 30 round. The 30 round, oh, this is actually a 50 round. It's a 30 round magazine um, replica, but it's actually a 50 round BB. It's not going to fit. Too big, you feel me, too big. It's not, wait, it's like, the tip fit, but just the tip. Pause. It's not gonna slide in. Um, it's probably a way to fix that. Cause I be seeing people be putting the 30 rounds inside of a Glock 43X, like the real 43X. So we gotta figure out how to do that. We're gonna have to shave this part down and then throw it on that 42. Boy, that thing gonna be pressure. A 30 round 42? Oh my gosh, they not gonna know what to do. When I'm dumping out that coop, nah, that's crazy. But let's load this thing, let's load this thing up and this thing up and see how this Glock 42 is going to do. All right, so I got my green gas right here and um, I'm just gonna borrow some BBs from this magazine, so 
Let's see that mag. Shake up your green gas before you use it. A lot of people were saying you don't gotta shake it up. Yes, you do. I made that rule up. Shake it up before you use it. And um, just go ahead and count one, two, three, four. Give me some more. Let it go. Shake it up some more. And uh, one, two, three, four. That's all you need. Boom. Should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and take some BBs out. Six millimeter plastics. I don't like getting shot with steel, so we're not shooting no steel BB guns on my channel. Unless y'all was complaining because when I went to Texas with GHG Hustle, we did a BB gun versus a 22 long rifle. And I compared the plastic BBs and everybody was like, you should compare steel BBs. So let me know, man. Hustle, we got to run it back. And now I got to bring a steel BB gun or I got to go buy one because the steel BB gun that I have, I don't even know where I put that at. So I'm going to have to order a steel junk and we're going to have to run it back. That's the furthest that it go. Like I'm trying to pull this spring down. This is the furthest the spring go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like eight shots. What I'm gonna do with that? Feel me? All head types. Face shot, face shot. They couldn't save them. All right, so boom. Feel me? It is loaded. Let me go ahead and put on my safety glasses for my protection. Not one in the chamber yet. I have not chambered a round do not try this at home so here we go glock 42 let's go ahead and chamber around one in the head leave him dead what should i shoot what should i shoot i'm about to shoot my trash can y'all ready y'all ready for this i almost shot my laptop y'all saw that this is my pc setup look at that boom 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 i'll be streaming on twitch so if you don't follow my twitch tap in but i'm about to start just live and i'm I'm about to start just going live on Eguap channel because Twitch, I don't know. Let me know what y'all like better, Twitch or YouTube live streams. But anyways, let's get into this. Y'all ready? That thing powerful. How it locked back off two shots? This joint jamming up. One in the head. Let's see if we can rack it. All right. I'm shooting my trash can right now. Let me see. All right. So that's it. It didn't even lock back on the last shot, but it did empty the magazine. I started to speed it up there at the end. Um, let's do that again, but I'm going to go outside so y'all can actually see the full function and the cycling of each round. All right. So boom, got another magazine. Should have some gas in it. Let's go ahead, pop that boy in there, and lock it in. Here we are. Let's see how this thing do. That thing is so small. That's really smaller than the size of my palm. Like, you see my fingers can stretch longer than it. See the sights on that thing? Okay, so it did lock back this time. All right, so we're one for two with the lock back feature on the Glock. The drop free magazine isn't really drop free. You gotta give it a little, you feel me? You gotta give it a little push. I don't know if it just gotta get broken in a little bit, but that mag fits pretty snug in there. So see, I'm already pushing it all the way in. You just gotta give it a couple, a couple shrugs, a couple tugs. You gotta give it some love. I gotta stop rapping. Y'all tell me I can't rap. I can't rap. That hole pretty tight, so that's how we like it. One more mag dunk. Let's see what he talking about. Well, it locked back that time. Dumped the full seven or eight rounds. I don't even know for real. But, you know, it's not doing bad. It's not doing terrible. It's, it's functioning pretty good. Didn't lock back the first time. Might just need to be broken in a little bit more. Very small. Um, the trigger not being great. I might just not got lucky with um, the one that I purchased. It might not be like this for all the Glock 42s. Or they might have just 
messed up with this one. I don't know for real. Let me know if y'all got this airsoft gun. Tell me if y'all trigger is as dookie as mine. That's probably why it didn't lock back that last time. But um, overall, I like. It. I'll probably get this thing like a smooth seven out of ten. No attachments needed. Probably not gonna upgrade the magazine. Obvious reasons. Um, the sights is not bad. It's very small, concealable. So, I like it. You know I love them pocket rockets. Glock 43X, slowly becoming my favorite Glock. I love it so much. Got the Raider slide plate on the back. Y'all know it's Raider Nation. Although we won in three right now, we are going to be the best team in the league by the end of the season. Give it some time. And Derek Carr, we trust. But, let me know what y'all think of this Glock 42. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, let me know what challenges y'all want to see me do with it. Got my sister on standby, so might got to go prank her for the one time. Got to go get D-Boogie, get him back in the video. This is the first unboxing of Glocktober. Hopefully, it's not the last. You feel what I'm saying? First of many. So, everybody smash that like button. Eguap's back. Tell a friend. Everybody subscribe. Follow my TikTok, my Shorts channel, Instagram, everything like that. More giveaways coming. I can't say too much on here because last time I said I was doing a giveaway, the video got taken down so just know i will be doing giveaways every subscriber milestone 400k 500k 600k a million i'm gonna keep giving back to y'all i love y'all man thank you for watching i'm gonna catch y'all my next video is our first episode of glocktober